Hi everybody and welcome. I'm coach Carolyn Leppeter, certified instructor and former professional tour player. And today we're going to talk about bunkers and in particular greenside bunkers. So greenside bunkers are a dreaded place for many. It is one of my favorite places and believe it or not, sometimes the pros actually strategize to be ending up in a bunker because it's going to be the easier shot and the easier chip to make that up and down or to make that birdie. Some greens are so hard that the pros even choose to go in the bunkers. And I want to make sure that you feel the same way next time you are in the bunker. So greenside bunkers are especially difficult for most players because the expectation is that you will be able to get out of a greenside bunker with a regular shot that you would hit around the green. And that is very far from the truth. A greenside bunker needs a very different approach than any other shot you hit on the golf course in every way, in setup, in release, in club face, in many, many different ways. So let's talk about it and let's make sure next time you get into that greenside bunker that you know these key differences and that you can apply them and make sure you get those sandy up and downs every time you get into it. So let's talk about this shot and this type of bunker shot. So I have to carry a lot of stuff until I'm up on the green and there really isn't a whole lot of green. So that tells me it has to be high, it has to be soft, it has to have some spin on it because I needed to sit as fast as possible. So now I like to approach this in the way that I have a target line and you, you'll see this well on the video. So I don't know how straight this is, but this is our target line. We draw this to the target and then we want to make sure that the face is open. So we do need to open the face on a bunker shot like this and we got to make sure our hands are lower to the ground. So not as high as we usually would have them, but they're lower. And we're also going to open our body and our feet. And why I'm drawing this target line here straight to the pin is because I want a reference point to the more I open my face, the more I open my body. So the angles here, whether it's this or more 45 degrees off that target line, I need to match whatever openness and whatever angle I'm choosing with my face, I match it with my body and vice versa. So if I open my body 45 degrees, I open my face 45 degrees. If I open my body 20, I open my face 20. So you get my drift that you have to just make sure that matches. So the more you open your body and the more you open your face, the higher the ball is going to come out. So the longer the bunker shot, the less open both have to be. The shorter and higher the bunker shot, the more open both have to be. So on a shot like this, I would open my face probably right around in the middle here. So that's probably 30. And you know, I don't want to get too complicated with the 30 and 20 and whatever. This is a lot of feel. I just wanted to actually draw the lines in the sand for you to see that this is how the system works, right? However much you then open your face is up to you and feel and, you know, going out and practicing. So now let's set up to this. Let's open our face. It's going to point a little bit right of the target and let's open our stance, which is going to point a little bit left of the target and also my body. And now I'm going to come to the second really big piece here, which is so different from a regular shot, is that my right palm is going to keep facing up the entire swing back and through. So usually on a regular shot, you want to try to have your palm face down towards the, the ball and then hinge and, you know, do the rest of your shot. But on a bunker shot, you want to kind of feel like that face is open the whole way. So you're going to actually keep your palm facing up. And then when you're coming through, you're going to also keep your palm facing up. You're not going to release it and turn it shut and turn it down. So let's apply those things. Let's set up. Ball position is usually in the front part of your stance. So I kind of like to have it on my lead heel right here. Open face, open stance and body. Weight needs to be on the front, guys. This is also super important. Even if you're hitting up, like if you're up in the bunker, if you're hitting down, obviously it's in the front. But even if you're closer and you kind of have an uphill stance, an uphill lie, your weight always has to be on the front foot. And when I say front foot, I mean like really 70% on your front foot, quite significantly. Ball forward, weight forward, face open, body open, palm up, palm up. Nice, high, soft shot with a good amount of spin right there. So this is going to take some getting used to, guys. I do understand this because it's very different from a regular shot. But this is the correct bunker technique that you can use to get out of these greenside bunkers. And again, it's very different. I want to make sure these expectations are set. And so many people, and so many people, my students basically come to me and they're like, I just can't hit it out of the bunker. And what am I doing wrong? And I'm trying to chip it. 
it's not that you're doing something wrong you just don't know how to do it right right so this is just one of the most strategic and different shots on the golf course so it takes some practice and it's just very different once you know these technical differences you can go out and you can feel comfortable again ball on my lead heel weight in the front keep that and i like you see when i set up to it i already kind of open my palm and then i grip it of course but i kind of get that sensation of keeping my palm up 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 and accelerate through and you see me almost hitting a full shot here because you can do that if you do that setup and if you have your face open and if you have your hands low you can go after it don't be afraid to hit the sand make sure you hit the sand you want to have that back end of your club also called the bounce you want that to really bounce off the sand see how i'm bouncing this off the sand and that is what you should do you want to take sand you want to hit just a little bit in front of the ball but you know i don't really love referring to it like this because if you bounce this off the sand your club will react well and if you follow my instructions here with the setup with the weight with you know my hand positions and all that and the palm up palm up you're going to be a great great bunker player and this tip it is a little bit more complicated it is a little bit more technical but we're all here to learn so i'd love to hear from you leave me a comment in the bottom if you liked it if you've tried it and also leave me questions i understand this is a pretty ambitious task and it's not an easy part of this game so feel free to leave me questions in the comment sections i will go through and answer as many of them as i can so i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch me explain this to you and i really hope you enjoyed this and this really will impact your bunker game in a very very positive way if this is your first time here on my channel welcome thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up and subscribe i always love having new followers and making sure that i can supply you with the best golf tips to take your game to the best level possible. Make sure to check out coachcarolingolf.com for your seven day free trial. You can also look at my full training library, videos, drills, everything you'd need to know for free for seven days. And then I'd love for you to work with me, send me your swings and get started with your golf improvement journey. So can't wait to see you next time.